Hello everyone. Today I'm going to the farm to go buy uh, goat meat. Let me see if I will see goat meat in this particular farm where I'm going. Come with me guys. Let's go kill goats. I actually forgot to film the farm and I couldn't stand when they were killing these goats so this is the goats it's quite big and this is how they burn goats here in south africa they don't burn it the way we do back home in nigeria so with this um, particular goat they are going to pour paraffin all over the body and put fire on it the way it's burning now the guy who is helping out who is in charge of the farm will keep on putting paraffin which is kerosene yeah kerosene all over the skin for it to burn before he can scrape it as you can see he's adding more um, kerosene or paraffin to the body so that the, the skin will get burnt so now he's scraping it yeah there's still fire underneath but he's scraping out the uh, first burnt part from the skin of the goat for him to know if it's actually burnt properly or not so because it's not properly burnt he will pour more paraffin to it and make it burn with this um, procedure the meat does not taste like paraffin at all because this thing is just on the skin to let it burn, get burnt to to be able to remove the the skin the meat tastes perfectly well and fine there is no taste of paraffin or kerosene on this goat at all so it took him quite some time because he had to be turning the goats on both sides to make sure they get burnt properly then he removed the goat heels you see this is the other side of the goat is not properly burnt probably because it was resting on this um, iron or something so when he's done with this procedure he's going to wash the goat like giving the goat a thorough bath <laughs> but then he has to burn it properly so that when one is eating the meat won't have to chew should i call it the hair it's not nice when you're eating your meat and you're seeing the the, the skin on the body of the meat that you're eating so it took him quite some time i think about two liters of paraffin that's what he used <coughs> while burning the goat you see the way he's putting fire so now the goat is properly roasted the skin has been removed he's giving this goat a thorough bath with iron sponge we call it iron sponge back home but this is the hard sponge they call it hard sponge here in south africa and he's using a liquid soap to wash it so that it can remove all the um burnt parts should i call it burnt parts or i don't know what how is to explain this just to wash it to be clean before cutting out the, the meat so he washed and washed with a running tap to make sure the goat was clean before the butcher process started so now that it's clean the way we butcher our own we have to cut it from the middle like to remove the intestines before cutting the meat but the way this guy did it is totally different you see so now he's cutting it bit by bit and he's actually cutting it into the um size that i want that's the chunk of meat that i can cook with you see the way he had to cut one of the legs off first so that was how he did the whole process until he got to the intestine cleaned up the intestine 
and the meat was ready for us to go home yeah i'm finally home this is one full goat full fresh goat's meat that is how i enjoy my meat and this is going to last me for depending on how i use it one month plus or two months so this is the meat i'm actually putting them in a plastic like bit by bit in a plastic the way i'm going to be able to use it because after tying them in a plastic i need to put them in the freezer for it to frozen so that it will last long for me this is the intestine it was properly cleaned this is how i went to the farm thank you guys and this is the portion that i tied each portion is what i will use to make food cook my soup and that's how i'll bring it out from the freezer after this process i'll tie it thank you guys love you